Hello, my name is Tim Van Wyken, and I'm the factory representative with Carl Zeiss Microscopes here in the Midwest Marketplace. I'd like to take a couple minutes and introduce you to the newest dental operating microscope, Xterol. Many of you watching this video may have had the opportunity to use our previous generation microscopes in either your residency programs or private practice. And if you've had the benefit of using the Pico or the Pro Ergo microscope, I think you would agree that Zeiss's reputation as being the world leader in optics, as well as providing superior ergonomic positioning for the operator, are well deserved. Xtero is a platform in which we can continue to expand on the documentation benefits that we can provide you in your operating procedures. We can also increase the ergonomic benefits and in, in, in ideal operator positioning with some of the enhancements that we've made on the product. But Xtero also gave us a platform for increased technology options which can be added to any of our microscopes. So again, the purpose of this video is to really review those features and options for you. But before I get into those, what I'd like to do is just take a moment and review a couple of ergonomic principles that we would like our doctors to achieve to reduce the fatigue and the body strains that can present themselves after many long hours of working in a static position, especially if you're using a microscope that cannot get you in good ideal working positions. So the first, before, first of all, we want to make sure that our eyes, our shoulders, and our forearms are parallel to the floor when we're looking through the binoculars. And you can see here, I have my uh, patient simulator in the dental chair. And as I'm seated in the stool, and as I'm going through and performing my exam, my back and my shoulders are in good upright and parallel positions. So there's going to be many cases where the, the patient is going to have to be moved into various different positions. And I want to just detail how Zeiss and Xtero can help the, uh, maintain those good ergonomic principles for you without having to contort our body. And the first is our Variascope product. Variascope is the fine focus adjustment that will provide the operator the ability to remain in focus anywhere from 200 millimeters all the way to 430 millimeters of working distance. And that working distance is the largest range of any product in the industry period. The second benefit that this particular pro -er, uh, microscope can provide is our MORA. And what MORA does is it gives the ability to have the binoculars remain parallel to the ground, but I can take the binocular head and I can swing or maneuver this in up to a 30 degree angle. And again, as I look through the microscope binoculars, it takes the, uh, the operator and keeps them in that good position so not having to contort their body and start to lean side to side as they're looking through the binoculars. The third is very helpful for doctors that like to sit a little further away from the patient. What we have here is we have our standard 0 to 180 inclinable binoculars. But one of the options that we do provide is our foldable tube. And the foldable tube will act like an accordion. So when this is mounted in lieu of the 180 degree binoculars, it can actually shrink down or allow the binoculars to be closer to me and I can get closer to the patient. But through this accordion motion, I can extend the binoculars out. And so it allows me to sit up to two and a half inches further away from the patient if, if, the, if the procedure or if uh, my physical stature would require that. And so the nice thing is that with Xtero, we have a couple of different options with Mora and with our foldable tube that can be built into the microscope. This is a close-up of the Xtero microscope body. 
When Zeiss engineers designed and developed the Xtero, the goal was to have a product that could be easily positioned as well as the, all of the functionality of the microscope be able to be controlled with one hand operation. The first is our five step magnification changer. The magnification changer is positioned for both left and right handed operators so the desired magnification level can be easily selected and viewed by the operator. The next feature is the hand grip that is designed for ease of use of both left and right handed doctors. So when I grab the microscope handle, I can move the binocular head into the proper position. And then for my fine focus adjustment, I simply just move my thumb down to the dial. And there I can easily move and create and get that fine focus in the right position for my procedure. I then could come up to the wheel and by rotating the wheel, you can see through the five LED illumination uh, indicators here that I am increasing and now decreasing the amount of light that the microscope is producing for my procedure. If I have the onboard documentation package, which has a, lot, a 1080p live streaming and video recording camera, I can capture both still in images as well as uh, video recordings. To capture a still image, I would simply bring my thumb and just tap the center of the wheel and that would fire the camera and capture that still image. To initiate a video recording, I would simply hold, press and hold the wheel for a brief second and that would start the video recording. And to stop the video recording, I would come back and simply just to press the wheel one more time. Zeiss also has a series of optional technology packages that can be integrated into the microscope. And they're also uh, able to be controlled by the wheel. So when I come and I tap in a six o'clock position, you'll see that a blue indicator light comes on and this is actually our fluorescence mode. The fluorescence mode serves a couple of really great uh, functions for the operator. The first is that when it illuminates the tooth structure, it can help with the identification of bacteria and possible carious areas on the tooth structure. But also it illuminates tooth structure and composites differently. So if you're doing a retreatment, sometimes it's very difficult to be able to determine what is healthy tooth structure and what is uh, composite. And because that fluorescence mode illuminates them differently, it gives the great operator uh, visualization of uh, the two different uh, components differently so you can ensure that you removed all of your composite properly. To turn off fluorescence mode, I simply just tap down in the six o'clock position and my microscope will go back to the last illumination level that I had with the standard light. If I tap the wheel in the three o'clock position, this is my true light function. What true light is, it is a composite filter. So it extends the working time of your composites but it is much kinder to the eyes and the light that it produces gives a true representation of hard and soft tissue. So it is color accurate to help you with ideal shade matching of composites when matching them to tooth structure. To turn off true light, I simply depress the three o'clock position again. No glare is in the 12 o'clock position and no glare mode reduces the reflections on the tooth surface and almost creates a matte type finish. So when you are taking your videos and your still images, 
you're not going to get the reflections and the hot spots on the tooth, which will also provide a more aesthetically pleasing uh, image or video for the uh, patient or the referring doc that you're sending your case back to. If I tap the wheel in the nine o'clock position, that is going to be my blood filter. And so the, light, the filter will turn into a greenish color light and that will make uh, differentiating blood and soft tissue much easier for the operator in a surgical procedure. If I push the wheel and hold in a six o'clock position, that is going to operate our spotlight function. What spotlight does is it increases or decreases the diameter of the illumination field to provide a more comfortable uh, experience for the patient so you don't have light that gets in their eyes. So when I push and hold in the six o'clock position, it decreases the, the, the field width of the illumination. And if I push and hold in the 12 o'clock position, it expands the width. The last part that I'll demonstrate again is the Mora function. And so as I take the microscope body and I rotate that in that pendulum motion from side to side, again, my binoculars can remain parallel to the ground. But now all of a sudden when I take my hand away to uh, put it back in the patient's mouth and work on my clinical procedure, the, mic the Mora uh, keeps the microscope body at that angulation point providing ideal ergonomics for the, for the operator. I wanted to thank you for watching my video and feel free to contact me if you have any questions as I'd be happy to assist you in custom building your Xtero product. Thank you.